and um, then he won it again as a junior. There he is, a little timeout. But you know what uh, uh, is impressive about uh, Tion Ware is anything is his sophomore year. He broke his neck in the spring of his uh, uh, freshman year, and then came back in his sophomore year, injured again, made it to the NCAA's, and came only one point away from getting in the finals again. So he's a tough competitor. He is. His only loss this year. He is 18 and one overall. His only loss to Nate Gallick of Iowa State. And Nate Gallick uh, is the wrestler that uh, lost uh, in the finals to Tion Ware last year after an undefeated campaign, but it came up short against Tion Ware, who knows how to win the championships. He's got him two championships in his hip pocket and up on his mantle. He's a three-time All-American, and you get the sense that Gallick and Ware are setting the stage for maybe a rematch here in Oklahoma City at the NCAA championships. Well, I guarantee you, knowing both wrestlers, they are headed there themselves individually. They'll take care of themselves. And there is a quickness of Tion Ware. I mean, that's just plain fast twitch. He's explosive. He's got the got the leg up in the air, and he's got the two points. Charles Griffin from Reading, Pennsylvania, a sophomore, tough himself. He is a, a tough competitor and one of uh, the bride's uh, good wrestlers, but you're up against one of the Sooners' all-time greats in Tion Ware. Ware starting to build up a little bit of riding time here. And he's a good rider. A lot of people uh, think about how good Tion is on his feet, but he is a tough rider, very tough competitor all the way around. Uh, all the way around. When you look at Tion Ware from Edmond, Oklahoma, and a two-time NCAA champion, the defending champion. And we'll see as he rounds into form here as we get closer and closer to March. Right here, it's important for Griffin to get his head off the mat. You can't keep your head on the mat and win. And he's got to keep his uh, hips underneath him, kind of get some separation from his uh, hips and uh, Tion's hips right there because you don't want to get locked up in a cradle. Ware able to flatten Griffin down. And right there, I mean, that's so tough. Look, he's got the arm bar there, trying to sink the half. Ware going to work. And that's the responsibility of the offensive wrestler, to try to pin your man. And he is pushing Griffin right now. Griffin flat on the mat. And there's nowhere to go when you're flat on the mat. And now one minute and eight seconds of riding time for Tion Ware. If that holds up, it'd be worth an extra point. He's got a cross wrist ride right now. And that's a really tough ride. And he's looking for the tilts. It's just a tough go right now for Griffin, who's a hard-nosed wrestler himself. He's uh, he, he was really good. He actually uh, um, came out of redshirt in the second semester last year, and now, and now he's moved up from 133. Where we mentioned from Edmond, Oklahoma, had a stellar high school career, didn't lose a high school match. Four-time state champion, 132-0. And he's proven it out. And there again, you see Griffin's head posted on the mat, and that's just not a formula for winning. He's got to move those into the first period. We mentioned last year's NCAA championships, and this is a look at what Tion Ware did. Not only won, but did some things. you got to be athletic, and that's who Tion Ware is. One of OU's poster wrestlers, and deserving of it. Mm -hmm. Unbelievably athletic. So Ware will start second period on defense. And we've got a caution. Dion Ware starting a bit early. Tion Ware cautioned there for an early start before the whistle. And I believe if Griffin's going to have a chance here, he has got to grind from the top. He has got to really uh, grind it out on top, and uh, that's not an easy thing to do against a quick and athletic competitor like uh, Tion Ware. Look at Tion. Oh, wow. Great hip separation there. Comes out to the two reversal, and now he's looking for the back points. Tremendous job of uh, uh, hip heist out away from the bottom. Quick on the whistle. Now he's just looking to settle in to try to get Griffin's back to the mat to score near fall points. Got to get either an elbow or shoulder down, and then you have the uh, shoulders going past 45 degrees to get the points. Griffin looks like he's in such a vulnerable position right now. And now a stalemate. Two points there for where He got two points. for There's a reversal. Look, at comes around, separates a little uh, uh, reversal action, switch action. Then he comes in and almost, almost catches Griffin for a fall. Mm. That was close. There was two points near fall also given, and now it's escape for Griffin. We're still in the first period. A minute and 15 seconds left. Second, second period. And another two-point takedown. Two points. He's just putting on a clinic out there, and that's what Tion Ware will do. Great balance. And he follows his coach's advice, lets him up. Two points for Griffin. Eight to two. 
Remember now, any win by 8 to 14 points is considered a major decision. And that would be worth 14 points for Oklahoma. If that really happened, and there's two more points there for Ware. Great technique as Ware goes in on the leg and lifts Griffin off the mat, takes him down for two points. Ware always keeps his feet going. That's the one thing about uh, Ware. He, he, he has feet going. He has, does a nice job of changing levels, and lifting. He lifts quickly and makes it almost impossible. Well, riding time is definitely going to be a factor in this match as well because Ware has built up more than three minutes of riding time, so he'll get one point for that. It can't be a race when you get that much mm. riding time. And again, you're seeing the riding capability of Keon Ware. He's on every position of the match, but right now he's proven riding. Well, you look at the coach's poll, and Gallic, who we mentioned, now number one, and Ware at number two in the country. That's because Gallic has beaten Ware again this year, but you know what? Keon's not too worried about that because he has shown that he, he brings it on the NCAA platform. Yeah, Gallic knows that only too well. So right now, in a sense, there's another point for an escape for Ware. Makes it 11-2, and really he's up 12-2 because he will get a point for riding time. Well, there's a the quickness again. He went on the whistle. He separated his hips. He got to his feet, got his hips out, got the escape. We're now looking to try to get a 15-point or more advantage, which would give him a technical fall and a five-point result for Oklahoma. Already leading 12 to nothing. You've already seen the, the quickness of Heon, but you've also seen the aggressiveness. He has shot, you know, six, seven times, scored on three or four of them, and, and uh, he just is relentless right here. Doesn't give his opponent any chance to come in at him. Has great defense, well as offense, two more points to make this. Scored by Ware as he gets the takedown. He can't stay down, he's got to crawl up there, and he does. The official won't let him stay there um, parallel very long, but he hasn't uh, had any trouble either riding and working for the fall or letting him go and working from the feet. One point Griffin. One point Griffin for an escape. Great shot again. He uh, lowered his Griffin on his back going into the fall. There'll be at least three points near fall. Only 25 seconds left for Griffin to keep his shoulders up so he's not called for the fall but it will be a technical fall, if not a, uh, a pin. And he's lifting the left to the right elbow, Griffin. Trying to get that shoulder down. Eight seconds to go in the match. And this is where the team comes in. Griffin says, you know, I'm not going to go down. I'm not going to down. It's about fighting all the way to the end, and he does to his credit. The three more points for Ware gives it an 18-3 to three with riding time, 19-3. to three. And so that's a technical fall. That's five big points for OU. Mm. That gives them a 17 to nothing team advantage as Tion Ware joins both Blakely and Hayes Winkle in the winner's circle as he wins.